の名はライダー仮面ライダーと名乗らせてもらう Hello my friends Shin Kamen Rider is a 2023 Japanese superhero film produced to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Kamen Rider or known as Mask Rider Ah, already 50 years in a blink of an eye. It is Anno Hideaki's third reimagining of Showa's Tokusatsu series, following Shin Godzilla 2016 and Shin Ultraman 2022, basically based on the nostalgia of our generation and hope others to join, but won't have the same feeling who'd been there in real time back in the days. Movies, action figures, and other goods, luring one's boys with small allowance, drooling over the toys behind the shop window, but could not afford many. Now the boys have money. Today's video is a 1/6 scale Shin Kamen Rider action figure by 3-0, released in 2023. In the Kamen Rider world, Kamen Rider Ichigo is my most favorite character. Of course, I also love V3 in particular, and the Sky Rider and the other riders, but Ichigo is one I love most. Here are some of my vintage Q Ichigo, which means old number one, and Shin Ichigo, meaning new number one, and some of old and new Nigo. That is number two in my collection. Before I start reviewing 3-0 Shin Kamen Rider figure. All my Kamen Rider figures are stored in many different boxes due to the flood and these photos showing just a few Ichigo figures. But it gives you the indication of my love for Ichigo among other riders. Although I also collect them, I still love Ichigo the best. By the way, I have pre ordered his bike. Cyclone, also by 3-0. I can't wait to receive it. Hope it'll arrive soon. By then, only by then, Shin Kamen Rider Ichigo will be completed. I will do a follow-up video when I receive it. Now, here we go. Let's see what's inside the box. Hope it is a good one. One thing to be careful is that the front flap is secured by two velcros top and bottom when you open it up first time they are very strongly attached so be careful not to damage the front flap by forcing it too far you have to you have to do it very slowly yeah No problem now. Now, here we go.
This is a simple set. Not many accessories. No figure stand. Installing the batteries inside the head to light up the eyes is a prick of a job. There's nothing to grab onto. And it's very hard and it's kind of stuck. So I tried a few times and I ended up using this Lego brick remover. I insert it at the back of the head. I have to jerk it really, really strongly and it worked voila inside the head now let's open the battery compartment very tight well there's no battery installed oh dear me unlike hot toys well hot toys provide shit batteries anyway Oh well, that's after midnight in New Zealand, so I don't know, I may have to borrow it from other figures, see how it goes. Well, I didn't have the right size battery, so I just used the mix and match Mickey Mouse batteries. Let's see if it works. Ooh, it works, but very dim. Let me see. It's not worth going all the trouble. I'll just put the lid back on and forget about it. There's another feature in this mask. The lower jaw can be extended to the crusher pose. However, with the back of the helmet on, there will be nothing to grab on and very hard to extend it. So, without the back of the helmet, grab one and two this point and extend it like this and like this. Once again, extend it and like this. So, this is another user unfriendly feature, which I will not probably use it. Two types of boots are provided. One with articulation joint and the other without the joint to change pull out the foot take it off and insert it like that and click these antennas are real metal and two more are provided as a spare The red scarf has wires inside for more realistic action poses. The black coat also has wires inside for enhanced action poses. Well, this is it. It is a good figure. There are a few points that I don't like and the manufacturer is a little bit lazy, but it still is a good figure. 
nice to play with, and poses quite well. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Ciao.